As humanity pursues its natural curiosity, we never cease to find new information that changes our view on the world forever. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three unbelievable scientific findings. Unidentified 15,000-year-old viruses found in Tibetan glaciers a recent discovery has uncovered ancient viruses which were previously unknown to humanity. These newly discovered viruses were frozen in the Tibetan glaciers for 15,000 years. This event presents yet another effect of climate change that we have begun experiencing. The discovery was made by researchers who analyzed ice samples from the Gulia ice cap of the Tibetan plateau in China. This particular ice cap was riddled with airborne particles that were trapped during their original formation. The glacier had formed gradually, allowing for layers to be built clearly on top of one another. Each layer of ice represented a period in which the glacier grew. Dozens of intriguing particles and pathogens were found within each layer of ice, with every layer more historic than the last. The leading microbiologist of the study, Ji Ping Zhong, remarked, these glaciers were formed gradually, and along with dust and gases, many, many viruses were also deposited in that ice. When researchers began observing the earliest formed layers of the glacier, that is when they made their most shocking discovery. They stumbled upon a virus that had never been documented before, one that was dated to be an estimated 15,000 years old. The discovery has motivated archaeologists and microbiologists alike across the world. This find tells researchers that there's still things out there that are waiting to be discovered. Finding ancient viruses that have been so well preserved allows us to gain a greater insight into the biological conditions of our planetary past. During the time that the glacier was formed, the planet was under very extreme weather conditions conditions that we have never seen before to this extent. As climate change continues to become a greater concern at the forefront of research, we are beginning to delve deeper into valuable information from studying extreme bouts of climate change in the past. With everything that's happened recently, it is ever more pressing to determine how will potentially dangerous bacteria and viruses respond to climate change. Studying ancient viruses may be the key to unlocking the answer. As many ancient glaciers begin melting in the rising temperatures, biologists and pathologists have begun scrambling to preserve as much material as possible. Glaciers contain some of the most valuable information regarding ancient viruses and pathogens. Another potential danger regarding these melting glaciers is that the viruses may be brought back to life in the warmth. Viruses that have been frozen in time for centuries have been found to re-emerge as powerful and contagious as ever. This exact event took place in Siberia in 2016. A 12-year-old boy passed away after being infected with anthrax, an extremely rare disease that was largely thought of as being extinct since 1957. Around the same time as the boy's loss of life, over 20 people were hospitalized after contracting the same disease. Later, it was theorized that a 75-year-old reindeer had been the cause of the outbreak. In the early to mid-1940s, when the disease was more prominent, a reindeer had contracted anthrax. When the animal passed away, its carcass was covered underground and frozen. The soil remained in permafrost until 2016. In 2016, several heat waves passed through Siberia and caused the soil to defrost. It was at this time that the 12-year-old boy and many other community members contracted anthrax. Scientists argue that the virus within the animal carcass had been preserved in ice, but had not been eliminated. Upon the climate warming, the disease was released and claimed the young boy's life. This devastating tragedy shocked the world and only further proved that climate change is an imminent threat. A British paratrooper survived falling 15,000 feet and crashing through the roof of a house. A British paratrooper survived after falling 15,000 feet from a military plane. The soldier's parachute malfunctioned and failed to open as he plummeted to earth. He then crashed through the roof of a family home in California 
landing in their kitchen. For the residents of Atascadero in California, it was just another quiet Tuesday evening until a life-changing event crashed into the neighborhood. The intended landing spot was within Camp Roberts, about 30 miles south of the home in Via Cielo in San Luis Obispo County that he landed in. Rose Martin was the first to find the injured British soldier after hearing him tear through her neighbor's roof. She reportedly ran into the neighbor's house to assist the paratrooper. When asked about her experience, she stated, I ran in to make sure he was okay and I checked on him. His eyes were open, but I wasn't sure if there were any injuries. I didn't want anyone to move him. It's a miracle in my estimation. I mean, who lands like that without a parachute and lives? Around 5 p.m. on July 6th, the British Army was performing their standard high-altitude low opening or halo training exercises. During the exercises, the paratrooper is given control over where to land by effectively using their parachutes. However, this unfortunate soldier's parachute malfunctioned and failed to open in time. This caused him to lose control of where or how he would land. The reason that his parachute was unable to provide him with a safe landing is due to the nature of halo jumps. Halo jumps were designed and extensively used during the Vietnam conflict. This unique tactic requires paratroopers to wait until they reach an altitude of 3,000 feet before deploying their parachutes. This was effective during this time because it leaves the soldiers less vulnerable during times of conflict. Once the parachute has been deployed, a soldier is now clearly visible from the ground and thus made to be a bigger target. Waiting until the last possible opportunity to open your parachute allows soldiers to minimize this vulnerability. This makes the timing incredibly important. Just a few moments of struggling with the parachute before finally deploying the reserve was enough to put the paratrooper in a life-threatening position. How did he survive after his main parachute failed to open? His reserve chute was successfully deployed, which dampened the impact. The unidentified soldier, along with his fellow British Special Air Service, or SAS members, is extensively trained in these rare scenarios to minimize risk and injury. The SAS has a long history of conducting many successful halo jumps. According to the Atascadero Police Department, the parachutist was conscious but stunned with complaints of pain but no visible serious injuries. No other parties were injured, residents of the home were not in the home during the event. All other members of the training group reportedly touched ground safely in the designated landing field nearby. Massive earthquake caused 100 large sinkholes in Croatian village. On December 31st, a devastating 6.4 magnitude earthquake rocked the city of Pretrinja to its very core. Just six days after the fact, as the community was still reeling from the devastation, a massive sinkhole opened up overnight, and this would not be the last. The first gaping sinkhole measured 98 feet wide and 49 feet deep. After its emergence, at least one new sinkhole was created nearly every day. After a month had passed, nearly 100 sinkholes had opened up within the struggling village. Many events within this story are entirely unprecedented. For starters, the 6.4 magnitude earthquake is the strongest earthquake that Croatia has suffered in over four decades. Thousands of homes have been entirely decimated and seven people have been reported to have been wiped out in its aftermath. What makes this story even more unnerving is the sinkholes. While earthquakes are known to cause sinkholes, the sheer number and size of the resulting sinkholes have baffled experts. The sinkholes covered over 3.8 square miles of territory in the area and only seem to grow with each passing moment. The original sinkhole is now the largest in the village. When it first emerged, it was about 33 feet wide, but the gaping moor started to expand immediately. Over the next three months, the hole tripled in size, resulting in an unbelievable diameter of over 95 feet. As a result of this truly amazing yet devastating event, geologists and seismologists around the world have made the trip to Croatia to study the damages. It is known that Croatia is built on a highly active seismic system. This predisposes the area to earthquakes of disproportional magnitude. 
As a result of this, liquefaction can be an expected result. Liquefaction is a process in which solid ground begins to behave like liquid. However, Joseph Stipkovich, a leading seismologist within the Department of Geophysics in Zagreb, claimed nobody expected the appearance of so many sinkholes. To understand this unexpected result, experts have begun to theorize how this came to be. The leading theory is that Croatia is experiencing cover collapse sinkholes. These sinkholes are unique because they begin to form long before an earthquake opens them for the world to see. Cover collapse sinkholes are formed when the underground rock experiences erosion from the water below the surface. This water creates underground caverns which effectively hollow the ground within the area. If the surface area of the topsoil is composed of thick, sturdy material such as clay, this hollow ground will be undetectable from the surface and will not appear to be dangerous. Croatia, unfortunately, has these exact conditions which likely led to much of the ground being hollowed out before the massive earthquake hit the village. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.